let me show you how to add highly realistic skin texture to your image using the Williams Academy Photoshop plugin. So if I zoom on this image, you can see this image does not have a lot of textures. So with this time, my Williams Academy plugin right here, we are going to build texture bit by bit and make it look realistic. Now, as I open this plugin, I'm going to come to this skin texture right here. So once I click on add, the first texture I'm going to add is the forehead textures. So I'm going to scroll the way down until I see this forehead skin right here. So I'm going to click on it. Once I click on it, all I have to do now is pick my normal brush tool, make sure opacity is set to 100, flow is set to 100, and just paint on the forehead. All right, so once I paint on the forehead, you can see we've automatically added textures to the forehead. And you can see how realistic the texture is looking already. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. And the good thing about this plugin is you can play with the lights and you have controls over the lights, the shadows, and the highlights. So let's say, for example, I want to change the direction of the lights. I can just come to this angle right here and just move this angle to change the direction of the light. So as I'm doing that, you can see the textures is changing. So I think this 128 works for me, actually. So I'm going to leave it at 128. Also, we can play with the size of the textures. If I take it to 21, you can see how big the textures is or you can reduce the size of the textures. So I think I'm going to use a texture of about six, six works. And also I'm going to remove shadow. I'm going to take down the shadow just to leave a little bit of highlights and maybe reduce the highlights as well to make it look realistic. So this is the before. Take a look at the forehead, the before and the after. The before and the after. So this is the first step. So like I said, we are going to build texture bit by bit. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this add right here again and just add texture to the cheek. So I'm going to click on this add and just click on side cheek texture right here. So I'm going to select that. Once I select that, remember what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in and just paint on this side cheek right like this. So as I'm painting, you can see the textures on the cheek and I'm going to remove it from the nose. So I'm going to press X to switch to a black brush and just remove it from the nose where I don't want it to be. Like so, also remove it from this part. I don't want it to be on this part. Switch to a white brush by pressing X again. Or you can use this arrow right here to switch between black and white. So I'm just going to paint with a white brush to reveal that textures on the cheek. So I'll do the same thing for this other part of the cheek. Like this. Alright, so you can see how good it's looking. And this plugin, it's really, really easy to use. And I want to show you how to get the plugin in a bit. Alright, so. I'm just going to press X and just remove it from where I don't want, like so. Remember, like I said earlier, you can also play with the angle. So I'm going to play with the angle and see. Let's use 45. All right. So I think 45 works for the cheek. See the before? Wow. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, let's play with the highlight and shadows and see. So I'm going to reduce the highlights and in Reduce the shadow a little bit, maybe increase the highlights a bit. All right, I think like this works. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, to add general texture to the image to make it look even more realistic, click on add textures again and click on this hand and skin texture right here. So I'm going to click on it. Once I click on it, remember, pick your normal brush tool. Once you pick your normal brush tool, just paint on only the skin of the image. Wow. If I zoom in, you can see how realistic this skin texture is. Wow. And I'm going to show you how to make it look even more realistic in a bit. So I'm just going to paint this hand and skin texture throughout the whole image and just refine it later. Okay. So I'm going to paint that texture on this part right here. Okay. Paint it on this part right here. So for the under the eyes, I'm just going to reduce the flow to about 20% and just paint it on this part. I don't want to be too much on those areas. Also do the same thing right here and take it back to 100%. Just paint on this part right here, like this. So basically just paint on the skin. Don't paint on the lips, don't paint on the eyes. Just paint this texture on the, the skin of your image. So I'm not going to do this for the whole of the face. All right, now, obviously it's looking too much. It's the before and the after. So I want to switch to a black brush and just remove these textures from where I don't want it to affect. All right, so I'm going to remove it from this part. Also, 
think that's all we are going to remove it from. All right. Now, like I said earlier, you can also play with the angle. So let's just play with the angle and see. Let's use 45. All right. Oh, let's use 80 degree. Or 160. Let's try 160. All right. So I think 161 works. So you can see the textures sleep before and the after. The before and the after. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm just going to come to the size and just play with the size and see. So I'm going to take the size down to about four. All right. Let's see the before and the after. Also, play with the highlights and play with the shadows. And so I think I'm going to take away shadows from the image, from the textures and add a little bit of highlights. All right. It's looking really, really, really good. Wow. All right. So see the before and the after. I'm going to show you how to refine it and make it look even more realistic. If you're wondering how to get this plugin, all you have to do is to click the link in the description below of this video or the link in the pinned comment of this video. And it's going to take you to this website right here. Now this website open for you. All you have to do is just scroll the way down. So once you scroll the way down, you are going to see this best retouching tool right here. Now, if you want the textures, just click on this basic bundle right here. All right, so this basic bundle contains the texture and the panel. But if you want only the plugin, click on this panel right here and you are going to get only the plugin but you're not going to get the skin texture while if you want everything this panel has to offer you can click on this plugin bundle right here and it's going to give you both the texture the brushes and everything this plugin has to offer now since we are focusing on the textures in this video you can click on this best seller right here and i want you to know that you can also purchase the textures separately but if you want to get the panel and the textures i advise you just go for this basic bundle right here once you click it, just click on buy right here. Once you click on buy, to make sure you're only getting the texture and the plugin, you can click on this shop right here, just to be sure you're not buying the SS. So you can see we are buying quantity one and quantity one as well. So if you mistakenly put two, it's going to give you the price of two, as you can see. So just be careful. Make sure this place is on one and make sure this place is on one. And from here, just click on checkout right here. Now for me, it's going to apply this discount code for you automatically and just fill in your information and just click on buy and just install it to your Photoshop. So you are going to get this plugin and these textures on your Photoshop. Now let's continue building textures for this image. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on add again and click on forehead pause right here. So I'm going to add pause to the forehead. I'm going to click on it. Once I click on that, I'm just going to brush on only the forehead. So you can see, it's just adding those pores on the forehead like so. Obviously, it's looking too much. So what I'm going to do from here, first of all, I'm going to remove the shadows because I feel the shadows are too much. So I'm going to remove it. Also, remove the highlights a little bit. Then, I'm going to play with the angle and see. Okay, let's try 80 degree. Um, 80 degree. 80. All right, so let's see the before and the after. It looks good, but obviously it's looking too much. So let's try reducing the size. Okay. So I think size of about three works. So let's see the size of three. So the before and the after. So I feel the highlight is looking too much. So I'll reduce the highlights and add shadows to it instead. All right, so see the before and the after. Now from what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce the opacity. A little bit about to about 50 okay so 50 works see the before and the after the before and the after so to make this skin texture look even more realistic what i'm going to do i'm just going to group the whole textures so with this first texture layer selected which is this forehead pause i'm going to hold shift scroll the way down to this last one which is this forehead skin click on it i'm just going to select all of them once all of them is selected to me i'm going to press up command g or Ctrl G to group. So I'm going to rename this group Skin Texture. Now for me, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to my filter and just convert this group to a smart filter. So you're going to get something like this. I know it's not looking good. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm just going to come to our blend mode, change from normal to overlay. So I'm changing to overlay. It's just going to bring back the skin textures for us, as you can see. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. So from here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use liquify to just liquify the texture and make the shape of the texture follow the shape of the face. Now to do that, with this skin texture layer selected, I'll come to filter, 
and I'll click on the profile right here. Now, once I click on the profile, I'm just going to scroll the way down and click on this show background right here. Once I click on this show background, I'm just going to come to the opacity and just reduce the opacity to about, let's use 50. So that this works on me. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Once I zoom in a little bit, I'll click on my forward wrap tool. Remember, I just want to move the texture around. So right now, everything I'm doing right now is just going to affect only the textures. So I'm just basically moving texture around to fit the image. So I'm going to move this parts down like this. Move this part to this direction like this. Move this part to this direction like this. Just to shape the skin texture and just make it look even more realistic and make it look even better. Alright, so I'll move this part inside like this. Move this part inside. Move this part down a little bit. Like so. So I'm going to click on this blot tool. Once I click on this blot tool, I'm going to blot this part just to make those texture right there more pronounced. Also this part right here. And maybe the forehead like so. And just hit OK. Let's go see the before and after. You can see how realistic it's looking right now. Wow, take a look at these textures. Before liquify, after liquify, you can see how good it's looking. Now for me, what we are going to do, we are just going to blow it to make it look even more realistic. So the texture layer is selected, click on filter, click on blur, and click on Gaussian blur right here. And from here, I'm just going to reduce the blur. Obviously, this blur is a little bit too much. So let's use a blur of about 0.5. All right, or 0 0.7. 0 0.5 works, 0 0.5, and hit OK. All right, so if I zoom in, you can see the before and the after. The before and the after. And if you feel it's not enough, what you can do from here, you can just press up Command J to duplicate the texture layer. Once you duplicate it now, it's looking too much. You can just reduce the opacity of the duplicated texture layer until you feel it's okay. Now, let me just group everything I did so you can see how we started from and where we are right now. This is the before. You can see, take a look at the cheek. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. So this is how you can add highly realistic skin texture to your image using the Williams Academy. And if you want to learn how to edit beauty images from start to finish, using the Williams Academy. Check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.